Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to crochet this little bonnet for baby girls between six and nine months old. Now, I made this little bonnet to match the little dress, the baby blanket, the little cardigan, sweater, pants, and diaper cover that I showed you already in my channel using the same stitch. If you want to see these tutorials, just click the little lamb next to my channel name and it'll take you to my main channel page. You will find those tutorials there. I will also leave links to these tutorials in the information box. Now, the little bonnet that we're going to make in the tutorial, like I said, is for baby girls between six and nine months old, but you can make it smaller or bigger in the information box. I'll leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also, if you prefer a written pattern, I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box as well. Okay, let's get started, but don't forget, all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that you don't miss any of my tutorials. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. This is an e-hook, and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. This is the brand of yarn that I'm using. It's Super Soft Baby Double Knit James Seabrit. Now, you can also use any number three yarn or a ply. Now, here to begin, I have 85 chains. The stitch multiple to this base chain is multiples of six plus one. Now, the chain is measuring without stretching or anything. It's measuring about 18.5 inches, which is about 47 centimeters. Now, if your chain is off by one or two centimeters, it's okay, just continue. Now, here to begin, like I said, I have 85 chains. Into the second chain from the hook, we're going to make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain, single crochet into the next, and so on. For this first row, this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to make one single crochet on each chain. At the end of this first row, I'm going to have 84 single crochets. Continue for this first row and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 84 single crochets. Now, if you notice that this here is kind of long, it's okay. The stitch that we're going to use tends to shrink, so it'll all work out at the end. Now, for the second row, chain one and turn. Beginning on top of the first single crochet, make a single crochet. Now skip one single crochet in into the next, which is the third one, counting from the beginning, one, two, three, make a shell. Each one of these shells is going to consist of four double crochets. That's two, three, four double crochets, chain one, skip two single crochets and into the next, make a single crochet, chain one. Skip two single crochets and into the next, make a shell. Chain one, skip two single crochets and into the next, a single crochet, chain one, skip two single crochets and into the next, a shell. And this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this second row. So here's my shell, chain one, skip two single crochets and into the next single crochet, chain one, skip two single crochets and into the next a shell. Continue like this to the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have 14 shells. Now here at the end, do not chain one. I have three single crochets left. Into the last single crochet, insert your hook and make a single crochet. And this is how I finish the second row with 14 shells. Now for the third row, chain three and turn. Now for this third row, we have the first shell. Into the first two double crochets, make a front post double crochet. Chain one and then two front post double crochets. Same thing for each one of the shells. Two front post double crochets. 
chain one, two front post double crochets. Continue like this for this third row. I will meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. That's what it looks like. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where I did front post double crochets. Now to finish here at the end, I have this last single crochet. Insert your hook there and make a double crochet. And here's the third row. Now for the fourth row, chain one and turn. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a single crochet. Now inside each one of the chain one spaces, we're going to make shells in this row. So into the first chain one space here, make your first shell. Chain one in the middle of the two shells here, right here, make a single crochet, chain one, and then in the middle again of the next shell, another shell. Now here's my shell, chain one, and in the middle again, make a single crochet, chain one, and then repeat the same thing. I will meet you at the end of this fourth row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. This is where we did the row of shells. Now here at the end, do not chain one, just go into the second chain here at the end and make a single crochet. And this is how I finished the fourth row. Now from here on, these are the two rows that we're going to repeat. The row front post double crochets and then this row shells. So for the fifth row, I'm going to start you off here, chain three and turn. In this fifth row, we need to repeat the row front post double crochets. So here we have the first shell into the first two double crochets, make a front post double crochet. Chain one, and then two front post double crochets. Same thing for the next shell, two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets. Now, this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fifth row. To finish this row, you're going to go here at the end into this single crochet here. You're going to make a double crochet then chain one, turn, and then repeat this row of shells. So a single crochet on top of the first double crochet, and then a shell inside each one of the shells of the chain one space. And that's all you're going to do, just repeat these two rows. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do, so I will meet you at the end of that row. I'm here at the end of the 11th row. In total, I have 10 pattern rows. We have two, four, six, eight, ten. The last row that I did was the row from post double crochet. So including the row single crochets that we did here, that's, uh, I have a total of 11 rows. Now for row 12, we're going to chain one and turn. Now into these next three double crochets here, make a single crochet. One, two, three. Inside the chain one space, make a single crochet as well. So we have four single crochets here. Now chain one and in the middle of these two shells, so right here into this space, we're going to make a fan. Each one of these fans is going to consist of five double crochets separated by one chain. So I have one, two, chain one, three, chain one, four, chain one, five, chain one. Here's the first fan. I have a chain, double crochet, 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 chain. Five double crochets separated by one chain. Now into this chain one space of the next shell, make a single crochet, chain one, and then in the middle of the two shells here into the next space, make another fan. So make five double crochets separated by one chain. Okay, here's my second fan, chain one, into the chain one space of the next shell, make a single crochet chain one, and then in the middle of the next two shells, another fan. Continue like this, let's finish this 12th row, then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. 
I'm here at the end of this 12th row. This is where I did these fans. I have a total of 13 fans. Now into this last shell, I have my single crochet. So into these next three double crochets, I'm going to make a single crochet. So single crochet into these next two double crochets. And here where we have the three chains into the second chain, make a single crochet. Now I'm not going to cut my yarn yet. I'm going to leave it like this because what we're going to do next is with the white yarn, we're going to go right here at the beginning of the 12th row. In the 12th row here, we started with these three single crochets. So we're going to start right here. So here, insert your hook. Actually, I'm going to insert my hook here through this loop with the white yarn. And then insert your hook into the first single crochet of the 12th row. Now grab a loop and make a single crochet. Now into these next one, two, three single crochets, same thing, a single crochet. So that here we have four single crochets, one, two, three, four. Now we have the first chain one space of this first fan. Into this first chain one space, make a single crochet. Now chain three and in the middle between two double crochets we have the chain so into each one of these chains you're going to make a single crochet chain three single crochet chain three single crochet chain three single crochet chain three single crochet each one of the fans is going to have one, two, three, four, five chain three spaces. Now we have the second fan into the first chain one space, make a single crochet, chain three, 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 single crochet into the last chain one space. And this is all we're going to do here for the 13th row. Continue, I will meet you here at this end to show you what we need to do next and that's what it looks like. I finished making the last row. This is row 13 where we did these chains with this white yarn. Here at the end, I just did these last five single crochets, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. Now go ahead and also cut your pink yarn. We don't need this end here anymore. So cut your yarn. So the front part of the bonnet is all done and that's what it looks like. Now we're going to work the back side. So this here is the right side. We're going to go here on the left side. This is where I have the first chain that I did. Here's my end. So we're going to turn this like this. So we're going to work this row from the wrong side out. So this here is the wrong side. Insert your hook into the first chain here I'm going to grab a loop here with this pink yarn and I'm going to grab a loop bring it through the front and now chain one now into this first stitch here make a single crochet now this is the same chain where we did the first row single crochets it's just that we're working on the other side of the chain so right here into this next space here i'm going to make a single crochet decrease so insert your hook into this next space and into the next same thing grab a loop three loops on the hook close here's a single crochet decrease now into the next two spaces same thing grab a loop three loops, close. Now here I have three single crochets, one, two, three. I am doing this because I have a total of 84 chains here because we did 84 single crochets in the first row. I need to make sure that this part here in, in the back side is in multiples of eight, so I need to be left with 80 single crochets instead of 84. So that's why I'm making a decrease here at the beginning and here at the end. So now that we have these two decreases plus the single crochet that I did in the first stitch, I have three single crochets. So here I'm just going to now continue making one 
one single crochet into each one of these um, stitches here that were left when we did the row of single crochets. So this is how I'm going to continue until I come to this end here. So I'll meet you five stitches before we finish, four or five spaces, to show you how we're going to finish this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row. This is the back side. Up to here, I have 77 single crochets. I still have five spaces here. One, two, three, four, five. Into these next two stitches here, I'm going to work a single crochet decrease. So insert your hook, grab a loop. Into the next stitch, grab a loop. Three loops on the hook, close. Here's the first single crochet decrease. Now repeat the same thing into the next two spaces. Three loops close here's the second single crochet decrease now into the last stitch right here make a single crochet and this is how i finish this first row with a total of 80 single crochets now for the second row chain one and turn now beginning on top of the first single crochet make a single crochet chain one now skip one two three and into the fourth single crochet make a shell and same thing, four double crochets. Chain one, skip one, two, three, and into the fourth single crochet, make a single crochet, chain one. Skip one, two, three, and into the fourth single crochet, make a shell. chain one skip one two three and into the fourth single crochet make a single crochet chain one skip one two three and into the fourth make another shell this is how we're going to continue for this second row for the back side now continue like this i will meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this second row for the back side. I have a total of 10 shells. Here at the end, I have my last chain one and into the last single crochet here, make a single crochet. And this is how I finish the second row. Now for the third row, chain three and turn. Now in this third row, what we're going to do is we have the first shell into the next four double crochets here. We're going to work a front post double crochet. So four front post double crochets on each shell. Here's the next one, four front post double crochets. This is how we're going to work this third row. So continue. I will meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where I did front post double crochets. To finish this row, go into this last single crochet and make a double crochet. Now for the fourth row, chain one and turn. Now on top of this first double crochet, make a single crochet, chain one. Now we have these four double crochets in the middle, so between the second and the third double crochet here, make a shell. This shell here is going to consist of three double crochets. Now chain one in the middle here, the shells make a single crochet, chain one, and then again in the middle between the second and the third double crochet here make a shell so three double crochets chain one and then in the middle of the shells right here single crochet chain one between the second and the third make your shell This is how you're going to continue for this fourth row. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. This is where we did these shells with three double crochets. Here at the end, chain one, and into the second chain here at the end, make a single crochet. Now for the fifth row, chain three and turn. Now in this row, what we're going to do are three front post double crochets. That's one, two, three same thing for the next three double crochets you're going to make three front post double crochets 
Continue like this for this fifth row. I will meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. This is where we did front post double crochets to finish here at the end into the single crochet, make a double crochet. Now for the sixth row, chain three and turn. Now here we have, let's see, we have these three double crochets, one, two, three. And then we have the next three double crochets. We have one, two, three. So into the third and the first double crochet of the second shell here, we're going to make back post double crochets. So one and two. Again, we have the third double crochet here and the first double crochet of the next shell. Make a back post double crochet into the third and a back post double crochet into the first. Again, into these two, make a back post double crochet. Now, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. In this row here, we're just reducing, so that's how we're going to do it. Again, we have the third double crochet and the first double crochet of this next shell. Make a back post double crochet back post double crochet. Again, we have the third and the first, back post double crochet, back post double crochet. This is how I'm going to continue for this sixth row. Continue and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. This is where we did back post double crochets. I have 19 back post double crochets up to here, so we need to make one more. And we're going to make this last one here into the second chain we're going to make our last double crochet. And now I have 20 double crochets uh, for this sixth row. Now for the seventh row, chain one and turn. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a single crochet, chain three. Now skip this space and into the next space right here, make a slip stitch. Chain three, skip one space and into the next make a slip stitch. Chain three, skip this space and into the next, make a slip stitch. This is how we're going to continue for this last row. So skip one space and into the next, a slip stitch. Continue, I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this last row, the seventh row. This is where we did these chains with a slip stitch. Here at the end into the second chain, I made my last single crochet. So here at the end, make sure you make a single crochet. Now cut your yarn and before we cut our yarn, what we're going to do is we're going to join here to the first single crochet of the seventh row. So insert your hook right here into the first single crochet. Grab this loop here, bring it through the front and go back into the center here, grab a loop, and make a slip stitch here, like this. And both sides here are joined, and that's what it looks like. Here's our little keyhole um, style bonnet with the little opening here in the back. And that's what it looks like. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fix the edges here, make it look nicer. So to do this, we're going to go right here to this side. This is the right side. So we're going to go here to the end of the last row in white. Um, I can't remember what row this is, but I'll write it right here to the end of this row here with this white yarn. So insert your hook into this last single crochet that we did. Now with the same yarn here, grab a loop, bring it through the front, chain one, and into the same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now a single crochet into the next row, single crochet into the next row, that's three, into the next row, that's four, And 
22. There, I have 22 single crochets for this side. Now we have this stitch right here in the center, so we're going to go right in the center here and make one single crochet. And now for this side, I'm going to work these 22 single crochets. We want to make sure that we have the same number of single crochets just like we did here on this side. So continue, finish this side. So I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these 22 single crochets for this first row for the back side. Now we have 22 single crochets here on this side and 22 for this other side. And then we did one single crochet right in the center. So we have 45 single crochets in this first row. Now for the second row, chain one and turn. Now here we're going to make half double crochet. So one half double crochet into the first single crochet half double crochet into the second and so on. This is all we're going to do. We're just making half double crochets. And once we're done with this second row, I'm going to have 45 half double crochets. Continue like this. I will meet you here at this other end to show you what we need to do next. I finished making the last row, the row of half double crochets. Here at the end, I just did my last half double crochet. Then I cut my yarn and then passed my yarn through that last loop, and then I just hit my ends here on the inside. So this little bonnet is all done. This is what it looks like here from the back side. It's got the little keyhole shape, and this is what it looks like here in the front. Now, what I did here is I just weaved this ribbon. This is the ribbon that I used. It's a uh, 7 eighth of an inch or 22 millimeter. And all I did was I just went under the shell, then over the single crochet, then under the, the shell, and then over the single crochet. And that's how I weaved this ribbon here. And then I just left a little bit here showing and with a needle and thread, I just went I started here and then I just went in the middle here and then pulled it down. Same thing here. You can see the thread here, right there. And this keeps the ribbon from, I guess, unraveling. You can pull it a little bit and it's not going to unravel. I can always just use a slightly thinner ribbon here. And here on the side, I also just attached these little flowers. These are pre-made flowers that I just attached there. So you can do the same thing. So the little bonnet is all done to match the little dress, the little pants, the little sweater, the baby blanket that I already have in my channel using the same stitch. Down here in the information box, I'll leave the link to these tutorials. Or if you click the little lamb next to my channel name, it'll take you to my main channel page. You will find all of these tutorials there. Also, this little bonnet is for baby girls between six and nine months old but you can always make it smaller or bigger in the information box. I'll go ahead and leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger. And I'll also leave the link to the written pattern if you prefer a written pattern. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.